Well, of course, Secretary General Ban, you led the efforts in 2015 for the Paris Climate Agreement. What progress do you think has been made since then, if any? We have ten, less than 10 years to go, including this year. Now, we have to really expedite and raise the ambition level, uh, particularly by political leaders. Well, of course, the former US President Donald Trump withdrew from that agreement. Has that had lasting damage? Of course, it really had a lot of negative impact. It's very encouraging now. We are relieved that uh, President Joe Biden has taken decisive action as his uh, first presidential act on his inauguration day. He signed to rejoin the climate change agreement. Now it has become effective legally, but during the four, four years of President Trump's time, all this major international agreement like uh, climate change agreement and the JCPOA and all other major global security and health as well as development issues have been very much hampered by, by this uh, lack of uh, global vision. Uh, therefore, I think this is a high time that we re-energize our efforts to uh, bring to a successful fruit of the sustainable development goals and Paris Climate Change Agreement. Now we are talking about uh, carbon neutrality by 2050. This is a very ambitious target led by European Union and Japan, Korea, China, and many, many other countries. United States is also joining carbon neutrality by 2015. I hope that uh, this COP26 in Glasgow will be a very important occasion where world leaders will come and uh, raise their political voice and ambition. What more would you like to see from that meeting, Patrick, from COP26? Glasgow, the next climate summit this November, is a make or break moment for climate change, and it is a make or break moment for humanity. We need increased ambition from government leaders, what they will do to transform the economy. We need increased ambition from business leaders um, to transform their businesses. The future of our planet, the future of our economy, of our jobs, are decided in cabinet rooms, in boardrooms, at kitchen tables. It's an all of society effort um, to really transform our economy. That is at stake uh, in Glasgow. So there's lots to play for. There's lots of pressure and demand on Boris Johnson's leadership. We count on his leadership to really elevate the bar globally. And um, we only can think of success because it's the only way for a sustainable, inclusive future for all.